Hi, my friends. Thank you for joining me today. And a big thank you to everybody who got in touch with me saying, hey, did you know Milani's making full face palettes? You guys know me so well. You know that I love a multitasker. I'm all about trying something that's going to do more than one function on the face. So guys, I very promptly got on Milani's website. No, Ulta didn't have it yet. No, Walmart didn't have it yet. I went to Milani's website. I ordered these $14.99 palettes directly from the site. Why are there two? Well, they decided to put out two different um, skin tone families, let's say. I got the lighter one, which is this, okay? So it really seems like it's crafted after the Charlotte Tilbury instant look in a palette. I'll show you one of those in a second, but it's got your bronzer, highlight, two blushes, like two finishes of blush, and three eyeshadows. And I noticed from hearing from you guys, there was some skepticism about the pictures and um, people talking about the light palette, thinking, is that gonna be deep enough in certain areas to work for me? So I'm gonna be trying that one on today. I also got the deep and I'll be talking about what's in here and I'll show you a picture of me actually wearing this whole thing as a look as well but it's the same deal highlight bronzer two blushes three shadows so again these are $14.99 I assume they'll probably come out um, at some other retailers but right now I just got them from Milani's website and this is what the Charlotte Tilbury palette looks like so again with three shadows two blushes highlight and a bronzer contour type shade this is the stoned rose collection if you're wondering and these while very expensive, 75 bucks, um, they work really well. I've had a few different versions of this and I find that they're just very easy to have that thing to grab for and know this takes care of everything. So yeah, this one says volume 110, light to medium, and then there's the volume 120, medium to deep. So I'm gonna go through the whole application with the light one and then talk a little bit more about the deep one as well. But what we're starting with here, I've got foundation on. Today I use this new Essence Pretty Natural natural hydrating foundation. Um, I've got my Catrice liquid camouflage concealer on. I set that with my Catrice HD baking and setting loose powder. Brow is done. Got a little lip balm on and my eye primer. I went ahead and put that on. So yes, let's get going here. We do have a mirror. I think that's really important for something that seems to want to be like a travel friendly product. I think the mirror is so key. Now I will say the textures of everything in here. It's soft, it's pigmented. I really don't have any complaints about the quality of what's in here. It's gonna be more of a, how universal is the shade selection really? Um, we look at this bronzer and I feel like I've been talking a lot about bronzer shades lately. And this does remind me of like the tone of the new Physicians Formula Matte Minoy that was in their All-Star palette. You know, it's very like, tan and a lot of yellow in it it seems like but we're going to use this softly i mean i just kind of rolled my brush across it and then i'm also going to tap off the excess because these are soft powders in these compacts and you just got to be aware of that and i'm just going to lightly apply this because i just don't want that color really full-on heavy on my skin because i tend to like the bronzers that have a little more of a reddish thing going on, like a little more depth. They'll come off looking like, okay, that really reminds me of my skin if I've got a tan. The ones that are really like yellowy don't necessarily make the most sense for me, but I'm putting it on there and maybe you can see that I've got a little bit of bronziness. And keep in mind, this shears out. You know, we don't wear that tone, just like the blush. You know, you don't see that color literally on my cheeks. You see it sheared out and it can work. The thing that this already has on the Charlotte Tilbury one is that they have put out two depth levels because Charlotte Tilbury has put out different varieties over time, but really what changes are just like maybe the tones of the blush or the tones of the eyeshadows, but they could really make it suit more skin tones if they'd offer a deeper tone of the Film Star Bronze and Glow basically that's in there. If they'd make sure that came out with two different options, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so there's that bronzer lightly all over. As you can see, even if that's not my favorite tone, I can, I can work with that. Now we've got a couple of very pigmented blushes here. I'm actually going to start with this one because you might have questions more about that, um, how that's going to show up. And it really, really does. It has glow and sheen and it's kind of like peachy pink. This makes me think of more of a little bit cool, just true classic pink. But the shimmer one has a little more peach in it. And I'm going to pop that on just to show you how much it shows actually pigment wise on the skin. 
I love how different they are. Two really different tones and pigmented enough for you to really be able to tell that they're two different tones and finishes. So that's this shade all over. We're getting a little bit of glow. There's no chunkiness. There's no like uh, big flecks of shimmer. But you're getting a gentle sheen and a little more warmth and then maybe we'll just add a little smidge of this one. Again, gently go into your product. A little goes a long way. I'm just, in a very sheer manner, adding a little more pink to the cheek. Just through that matte, very pigmented blush shade. Even tapping it just a little bit on my hand so I can get a lighter intensity. Blush lovers are really gonna enjoy this, for sure. Okay, now we're gonna go to the highlight. We have it right here. It's a goldeny champagne highlight. Um, we're talking a very soft gold, but there certainly is a real gold effect in this one. So I'm going to go into it with this little Sigma FO3 high cheekbone highlighter. And it's pigmented. It's very pretty. I think it shears out beautifully on the skin. Plus, keep in mind, all these face shades could also be eyeshadows. You've got your three shades labeled shadow, but heck, this could be an eyeshadow. Get a little bit up here on the forehead. Little Cupid's bow. Very, very pretty. I'm going to apply a little setting spray. I've got this Milani Supercharged Mist here, so it's a nice way to wake up in the morning. Very orangey. It's like I'm spraying orange juice in my face. But there we go. That's what we're looking at for the face steps. And even though the bronzer may not have been the shade that I think is ideal for me, it worked. It worked out. Um, we used it lightly. Those blushes are absolutely stunning. The highlight's really pretty. Now we're going to move on to the eyeshadows where we have two mattes, okay? We have a uh, kind of like medium rosy brown, this peachy shade, and then a shimmer here. It's kind of like a pinky, like a light rose gold shimmer. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go to this lightest shade because I haven't gone straight to the crease with this yet. The first time I used it, I just was kind of lost with that shade. So I just want to see what it does. If I take that to the crease on my skin tone, top shade there, a little, it's doing a little. What I would love to see Milani do is basically keep doing these periodically and give us different tones in them. In both the light and dark color families, give us a more dramatic mix, you know, give us a mix where the bronzer shade ends up different or the blushes end up different, you know, because I think this is a valuable kind of product to have in a line, really. And I can tell they're putting good quality stuff in here, so it excites me for sure. So now I'm going to go down to this deeper shadow shade. But you see how warm everything in this really is? Like even the highlight is kind of golden. These eyeshadow shades are very warm. It would be great if they would put out something that, you know, was for the cool lovers as well. Maybe something even with a little pop of color in it. Who knows? Okay, so this shade, as you can see, it's not super dark, but I do think it follows the goal of this being kind of an everyday easy palette. How about if I pat that deeper shade on? What's that going to look like? I will show you. You could skip the glitz and just go to the uh, other matte shade and you'd, you'd just be like a little lighter looking on the lid. You could get a real pop on the lid by using the highlighter, but I'm just trying to use this in, in, its, in its intended way for you today just so you can see how it all pans out. I'm taking that shadow shade, I'm going to tap off a little excess. Now this is shimmer and it's not, I don't know, I, I wouldn't say it's really flaky because it doesn't have giant particles that are real troublemakers, but it takes a little building with the brush and it's still really pigmented. You saw like if you see it on my finger, it looks like a thick, just, you know, nice, rich, shimmery shade. But with a brush onto the skin, you, you get more impact if you use a finger. See that just immediately. See how quickly you get there with a the finger. And it's really it's not because it's a bad shadow. It's not because it's lacking pigment. There's just something about the texture that's not laying down quite as thick as it needs to. But there's that pretty, pretty tone. Again, if you wanted less pink, pop that shade on. I'm taking my ES6 from Profusion, this little small pointed brush. I'm going into my deepest eyeshadow shade just to give myself a little light definition on the bottom part of the eye. 
Alrighty, so guys, at this point, I'm going to put on a little eyeliner, some mascara, maybe some lashes, pop on a lip color, and we'll sort of review the look, and we'll talk about the other palette, too. Alrighty, my friends, so here we are with the finished look. Um, I popped on, let's see, my Wet n Wild liner pen. I also did some light liner in the lower inner rim. That's the ABH Duo Highlighter Pencil. I have on mascara, top and bottom, some of my favorite lashes these days. I just can't get enough of these. The um, Kiss My Lash But Better and so real. I love this style. Not that they look so real, I mean, but I, they're just fun. But we can see the overall look, the tone of everything. Oh, my lip is the Milani Lip Liner in Cinnamon Statement. So I always talk about these two, the nude entrance one. This is the Cinnamon Statement that's a little bit um, richer and warmer, and I've just got that and that alone on my lips. So guys, I really enjoy this as a full face palette. I feel like the bronzer, even though that might not be my idea, deal tone, I feel like I can make it work. And keep in mind, none of the face colors in here show up 100%, and that goes for anything that you're using. You know, you see the tone, but that's going to be sheared out on the skin. And for me, that sheerness makes it workable. I absolutely love the blushes. Like, I just, I, I can't get over how that one's so shimmery, but it really has a lot of pigment. This one is beautifully pigmented as well. A little goes a long way. Love the highlight. The shadows, honestly, I feel like these two shades, I'm not saying they're so, so close, but I could have used something just a little deeper than that to give me the option for a little more contrast, but the finished look is still pretty. But what I would say to Milani is, I hope this is the tip of an iceberg here. I hope it doesn't just stop with these palettes, and I hope some different undertones come out. I hope some different color choices come out with these, and that it just keeps being like an ongoing thing that gets added to the line, because I think it's a good formula. Stick with that. Just give us some more color options. Now let's talk about the deeper one. Now, now, I used this yesterday, and I can use pretty much every piece of this as well. The one thing I would say about this is that the highlight, it, this ends up being kind of deep on me. It doesn't give me that brilliant, like, brightened up effect that I really want from a highlight. On my skin, that's a little deep, and I'm not saying this is a problem. I'm, this is intended for richer skin tones. I just really wanted to test it out for myself so I could chat with you about it. Love the bronzer. I mean, that shade is rich and sheared out. I can totally wear it. The blushes are beautiful too. A tiny bit goes a long way, okay? If we look at the shade comparison with the other, and I'm already saying a little bit goes a long way with those tones, you know, just imagine. We've got an even richer, like, berry blush. The shimmery one is gorgeous up in here, but seeing even more richness in that shade too, right? More pigment. With your eyeshadows, I love this deep, kind of burgundy tone. Like, honestly, I probably prefer the eyeshadow spread in here. You got that easy started out crease color, this deep kind of burgundy shade, and then this shade in the middle is is I would say a true copper. So if you're just kind of comparing the eyeshadows there, you can see um, how much richer and deeper this one can go compared to your light to medium. So two really strong palettes here. This is the one that is probably more appropriate for my skin tone. I really feel like every part of this can work for me. This one, you know, the highlight can't quite go there and I have to be insanely careful with these other face colors just because they are so pigmented and they are are so rich, um, but I do like those eyeshadows too, and I'll continue to work that one in, but I hope in both depth levels they do come out with some more um, options for people, because I think this is a smart product. I think 15 bucks is a very approachable price tag. Heck, if they even wanted to, in another version of this, maybe give us one blush and also give us some kind of setting powder, I think that would be a smart choice as well. But overall, yeah, I'm happy with these. I'm glad they did it. You've got to look at these yourself and say, gosh, you know, I love the idea but maybe I only look for cool tone things and this is all looking very warm to me. It is very warm. Or maybe you're thinking about the eyeshadows and you're like, I just want more of a deep look. The ability to go richer and darker on the eyes out of a palette of that type. In that case, maybe this isn't quite for you. But I do respect the everydayness of these palettes and how, yeah, the look is going to be light, but it still looks finished and pretty and I appreciate that I was able to get that out of a palette that had so many other steps as well and you can use some of those other steps. Maybe the bronzer is an eyeshadow. You know, maybe the highlight is an eyeshadow as well, or the blush. You do have eye options outside of the immediate eyeshadow stuff there. Anyway, guys, I hope this video was helpful for you, just seeing that all in action. If you've already gotten your hands on those as well, I would love to hear your feedback. I'll see you guys very, very soon. I love you, and have a great day. Bye.